So what I want to provide in this video is a quick overview of the integration that you get between uh, Edge and Defender for Endpoint and also Defender for Cloud Apps. Now the starting point for most of this is in sku.microsoft.com and this is where we'll find uh, both Defender and also um, Defender for Endpoint and also Defender for Cloud. Now the first thing to ensure is just the integration options have been turned on. So let's go into uh, settings here. So scroll right down the bottom on the left hand side. Firstly go into Cloud Apps and go in here and you'll see there's an option here called uh, Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. So firstly go in make sure that that is checked. So this is going to ensure that any of the configurations you do uh, in Defender for Cloud Apps flow through to Defender for Endpoint. Uh, and the other option that we need to check in here just to make sure that it is configured is we go, need to go into Endpoints. And if we scroll down this list here under Advanced Features, you'll find that there is an option here for Cloud App Security as well. So, so you'll see this integration, make sure that that uh, is turned on. So what we're going to try and achieve here is the ability to block a website easily using Defender for Cloud Apps. Now if you go into the Cloud Apps option over here, you'll see that you can look at the Cloud Discovery. This is going to show you uh, basically all the interactions that users in your environment have and this is thanks to the fact that Defender for Endpoint is on those devices and therefore that telemetry is feeding through into uh, this portal here. But what I achieve here is the ability effectively say to block Facebook. So that's what I've done and let me just show you how I went uh, basically about doing that. So what we're going to do is go into the Cloud App Catalog. Now the Cloud App Catalog is going to show me a list of all the applications that uh, Microsoft Defender for Cloud Apps knows about and there are thousands in here. So what I'm going to do is do a search here for Facebook. All right, so let's do a search for Facebook. And what you'll see here is that these are the apps that Defender for Cloud Apps knows about. Now you'll notice that over in the actions here, what I've done is basically selected the option to unsanction or tag that app. Now, what I'm trying to do is to block access to that uh, using this simple option here in Defender for Cloud Apps. So once I've selected that, and you can sanction and unsanction them quickly and easily, what's going to happen is that we're going to see a number of settings uh, then propagated into Defender for Endpoint to assist in effectively this blocking. Now to find that, what we need to do is again, we go back to settings after we've made this setting in our, our Cloud App catalog here. Go to settings, go to Endpoints, all right, and if we scroll down here under indicators, what we will find is that under URLs, that a number of URLs for those unsanctioned apps now appears. Now, what I like about this is the fact that, yes, you could go into these indicators and put an individual website like you know, www.facebook.com, and that would certainly block that. But you'll notice here that because Defender for Cloud Apps has this catalog, it knows a number of different URLs that can be used, for example, fb.me. So it will automatically block those and add those as indicators for you. So again, what I did in Defender for Cloud Apps is go in and unsanction an app. That has effectively gone in and put in the appropriate indicators here in Defender for Endpoint. Now what that means on the workstation is, so here we are on a virtual machine. So if I go to um, a normal website. So this machine is an Azure AD Joy machine. It also has a Defender for Endpoint on it. So if I go in here and start browsing, you'll see that I can browse a normal website. But as soon as I go to uh, facebook.com, what happens is those indicators are then triggered and using the client or the connection with Defender for Endpoint, now I have a block shown to me. So that's a quick and easy way to go and block, you know, unsanctioned or apps, web apps that you don't want users to access. And remember to do that, you would need, you know, Defender uh, for Cloud Apps or um, cloud, what's called Cloud App Discovery, which comes with Business Premium. So you can do this with Microsoft's Business Premium. 
You will also need to have Defender for Endpoint installed uh, on the device, on the workstation, uh, and then uh, basically we need to be using Edge. Now the downside is if you do use another browser here, I've got Brave and I try to go to Facebook. Unfortunately, because the traffic is um, secure, so it's those HTTPS, uh, Defender for Endpoint uh, isn't able to break into that flow and provide that block. So if you do want to block uh, websites using third-party browsers, you're going to have to use another method. We can do that with some sort of network blocking also uh, in Intune or preventing the installation of a third-party browser. So the integration to get that blocking, again, requires Edge on the desktop. It requires uh, def Cloud App Discovery. Right to allow you to unsanction the app. And finally, it needs Defender for Endpoint to actually put those indicators in. And the way that you largely go and configure that, like I said, is you go to secure.microsoft.com. Uh, once you've set up those integrations as I outlined, you go into the Cloud App Catalog. You do a search for the application you wish to uh, prevent access to, you select that, and then in a period of time, those indicators will again uh, appear in the Defender for Endpoint configuration. So hopefully that's given you an indication, an idea of how easy it is to go and you know, set up uh, restrictions when it comes to browsing certain websites using the integration that comes with the Microsoft Cloud environment. Thank you very much for watching the video.